Hello there and welcome to another Rugby Decks on a video. So this video here is to complement the one I did on anchor poles a few months ago. So it's just dealing with brace poles, the alternative to anchor poles for a deck. This video is one of many on the Robo Deck Designer YouTube channel. I'm Paul and this YouTube channel here is all about helping you. Helping you navigate the difficult New Zealand building code regulations. I will let you know about little known causes and design considerations that can prevent you from making mistakes and getting it right first time. But the greatest gift I can give you is the Robo Deck Designer online tool. This online tool will help you design your deck to New Zealand building code regulations within minutes. So before we get into things, bracing is required for a deck if the deck extends more than two metres away from the side of a house. Also this video here doesn't apply to decks at more than three metres high. For those decks you need specific engineering design. For bracing you can use either brace poles or anchor poles. To work out the location of brace poles, the easiest way is actually to use the online RoboDeck Designer Bracing Calculator. So I've actually put a link here in the video and also one in the description below. This video refers to EZS 3604 and I've put a link on the RoboDeck Designer website where you can actually download a copy of this for free. Anchor piles are suited to lower heights and brace piles are suited to decks higher than this. In NZS 3604 under clause 6.4.1 there's a section there which deals with the height of piles. Anchor piles can't be used for decks generally higher than 800mm and this is under NZS 3604 under clause 6.4.1.1.1b but this does actually depend on your decking size, your joy size and your bearer size as well. Also brace piles can't be used for lower decks due to the angle of the bracing. So, what does a brace pile look like? The diagram on this video should give a really clear idea. The sizing of a bracing is actually determined by the length of the bracing between the two fixings at each end. This is determined by clause 6.8.3.3 and also 6.8.3.34 from NZS 3604. The length of the bracing can't be more than 5 metres and must be one continuous length. If a length of bracing passes through an intermediate pile and is fixed with M12 fasteners, then the length of the bracing is actually calculated from the intermediate fixing point to either the upper or lower connection. The bottom of the bracing has a few constraints as shown in the graphic in this video. Also, the footing needs to be a minimum of 450mm deep. The height of the brace pile does have some limitations. This can't be more than 3 metres high and that this is under EZS 3604 under clause 6.4.1.1 V. If this height needs to be exceeded, this needs to be done using specific design. There is a limitation on the minimum height of a pole. This cannot be more than three times the height of the distance between the clear ground and the lower fixing. This does, however, create a very fine line between when a brace pole can be used and an anchor pole. There's also another limitation which affects the height of a brace pole. This is the angle of the bracing. Now, this needs to be between 6 and 45 degrees if attached to a joist or a bearer, or 10, between 10 and 45 degrees if it's attached to a pile. At the top, the bracing may be attached to a pile, a bearer, or a joist. When bracing is attached to a bearer, this must be within 200 millimeters of the center of the pile. If there is an alignment issue, there is a clause under NZS 3604 under clause 6.8.4.3b. Now this has a little diagram here just to show how this could actually be achieved. This needs to have a fixing capacity of 12 kN both the vertical and horizontal directions. Also the connection between the, the pole and the bearer needs a 12 kN fixing or this could also be achieved using M12 stainless steel fasteners with a 50 by 50 by 3 square washer. The connection between the bracing and the pile needs to be fixed using M12 stainless steel fasteners. There's also a restriction stating that this fastener must be between 90 to 150 millimeters from the top edge of the bearer. Only one brace can be attached to the top of a pile. For the connection between bracing and a joist where this is actually parallel, 
Now this needs to be within 200 millimeters of the center of the bearer or the ledger. There's three other videos um, associated with this video. So there's one actually on anchor poles, there's another one on the bracing calculator and there's also another more in-depth video I've actually done on bracing for a deck. Now something else which I actually missed out in this video is that there's two different definitions um, referring to bracing which is the finished ground level and the clear ground level. Now I'll just put the actual definitions here in the video so you can actually fully understand the difference between the two. Also under clause 6.4.2 there's a little snippet there which actually gives information about the sizing of the post that actually sells with the bracing pile. Thanks so much for watching this video, we'll catch you in the next one and don't forget to subscribe to the Robodex on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.